Hello, my name is Mike Greenberg. I uh, work at OB1. We are the company that builds OpenBazaar. And I am here to show you our new mobile app called Haven. Haven is a focused consumer app that uh, assists our users with accessing all of the privacy features that IPFS has to offer and does so in a way that makes it very easy for our users to understand what they're doing and not have to think too much about the technology underneath. Uh, let's get started. Here on the screen, we have uh, the Haven icon, and we have a very short optional onboarding, which describes sort of what you are getting into with the application. You have the option of putting a pseudonym, indicating your origin, uh, country of origin, and uh, for the time being, we are showing here that we are collecting anonymous uh, analytics. This is only the case during our, our beta period. Um, once we launch the uh, product uh, publicly, we, this will be an opt-in rather than an opt-out. <clears throat> so we will opt out of the analytics and press next. Next we see a privacy screen which shows exactly to the user what Haven will and will not do for them and provide them an opportunity to find more information about uh, what is going on underneath the hood should they be interested in finding out. Additionally, it in includes our terms of service and our privacy policy so that uh, all of our users can understand upfront exactly what commitments they are making by using our application. When we click I accept, in the background on the, on the mobile device, a full IPFS node which is embedded into the application is starting <clears throat> and initializing a new identity for this particular app and associating that identity with the information that you included in the onboarding should you have happen to include it. On the very first screen that we see here, this is the discovery screen you'll note that the listings on the screen have loaded relatively quickly. And the, the reason for this is because OB1 has erected some infrastructure which assists with the content discovery on the network and allows for more quicker publishing as well as retrieval of, of this content. Uh, along the top, we have segregated many of our products into different categories that are commonly searched for and, and used across major e-commerce sites. So if you were interested in finding something specific, you can search by category as well as for a specific product. Uh, across the top, we have a few featured stores. So in the future, we would like to highlight our particular uh, vendors, which have provided uh, unusually good content or might be sharing a particularly good sale that we might like to promote. This is something that OB1 has complete control over. Um, but the information below it is sourced directly from our search engine. And this search engine is something that OB1 currently operates. Uh, this, the reason for this is because we need to curate the experience for uh, the various phone um, marketplaces. Uh, Apple and, and Android expect certain uh, guarantees with the content that's being shared on the application. And so OB1 helps to manage this by managing that infrastructure. However, this mobile app connects to the broader OpenBazaar network, which is not filtered or curated in any way. And should a user happen to uh, do a similar search on, say, our desktop app or on our website, they would find the, a, a much broader listing. So you might expect that Haven will have a somewhat restricted uh, set of listings for you to be able to, to view and purchase from. And this is normal and, and by design. Loading one of the stores here, we see uh, a, a set of listings from this particular vendor. When we load a store from the network, this is uh, essentially one particular user, a, a single node that's on the network, that has multiple listings that they've offered for sale. In addition to that, the store has all of the features that our desktop and web experience have, showing the number of the reviews that the vendor has, the followers and followees that it has, and it gives you the opportunity to follow it yourself as well as message the vendor if you were interested. Something that's unique to the Haven app, which is not available yet on desktop, is uh, social features. And you will see the opportunity as a vendor in Haven to share um, content that is associated with only your node and is not associated with any external social networks whatsoever. So if you were interested in talking about a new listing that you happen to find, or if you were trying to promote a particular listing of yours in the store that you want to share with your customers, this would be a good way to do that. 
uh, social listings have the ability to, for being reposted, liked, and commented upon as well, so there is a very rich opportunity for discussion built in. Additionally, all of the stores share their, excuse me, their peer ID as well as a short description, so if you wanted to view the store's experience on another platform, you could do so very quickly and easily. Going back to the home screen, we see a couple of options down at the bottom. Uh, the default screen, as I had said before, is the Discover view, but if you want to see specifically the social feed and not have to be looking at a, a specific vendor's social feed, we've aggregated an index of social uh, content that you can see and comment and interact with. On the other side of that, we have the ability of managing your private conversations. As I mentioned, this is an application focused on privacy. So all of your conversations would appear in this screen, and they would be all encrypted peer-to-peer. -peer. This is utilizing libp2p uh, underneath to facilitate the communication between the two peers, and we uh, apply encryption to the content prior to publishing it on the network to ensure that there's complete privacy. In addition, the application includes a full uh, cryptocurrency wallet, which today supports Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Zcash. Uh, tomorrow we have uh, communities which are assisting us with adding their coin to our network and we expect to see uh, some additional currencies being added over time. Lastly, you have full access to your history only on your local device, your prior sales, prior purchases, uh, things that you're interested in purchasing later in the future, we call this your wish list, as well as any notifications that might have been sent to you from other, other peers on the network. All of this information is shown privately to you here in this screen. Also giving you the opportunity to edit your own representation on the network, giving you the ability of changing uh, visual elements like a banner across the top in your profile, as well as your pseudonym and editing other details about yourself. We're going to walk quickly through creating a listing as if you were a vendor on the network. We can show that this is going to be a relatively easy process. All of our listings expect, <clears throat> all of our listings expect that you are providing content from your local device, so I will take a quick picture and include this picture on the listing. This is useful for vendors who are very uh, mobile and active, and they don't necessarily have all of their listings prepared already. We can take advantage of any of the uh, camera hardware that is already on their device to assist with this. We have different types of listings that we support on the network. We have physical goods, digital goods, and services, and each of these types of listings provide different capabilities within the platform. For example, if you were selling a physical good, you would have the opportunity of indicating what sort of shipping costs might be associated with them, that particular item as it goes to other countries. And you can specify shipping options on a per country level, as well as provide uh, all sorts of additional variants on that particular product. Continuing building the service listing, we can create a quick title, set a price, You'll note that the price is shown as my local device's currency, uh, which in this case is U uh, United States dollars. And what happens is our network will convert your listing to your price point into the cryptocurrency value that it is at that particular time using the exchange rate that our infrastructure informs it of. Listings require descriptions, so it can be well indexed in our network. Tags are used for uh, categorizing your listings. So if you had a particular set of tags or a particular set of listings that are also associated with one tag, you could do so here. You can also indicate whether or not your listing is mature. So we want to pr uh, respect our users' wishes to not be able to see particular content. And vendors can do s opt into this by uh, opting to hide the media associated with their listing, allowing the user to choose to see mature content uh, should they be unsure that they want to see that. And additionally, you have all of your uh, advanced options where you can set things like your physical inventory that's in stock, any variants that you might have, say if you have a red or a blue shirt, and any store policies and coupons that you'd like to associate with this particular listing. 
This was just a very quick demonstration of the Haven app. We uh, expect that Haven will give a lot of users more opportunity to engage in commerce without having to be uh, subject to the existing retail options available to them, and they can do so in a way that's private and secure and gives them the most authority for how they handle their information. Please find Haven in the next couple of weeks. We'll be launching our open beta very soon. You can find more information at gethaven.app. Thank you very much.